All right, now back to China, where using online payment services like Alibaba's Alipay is very popular. However, the central bank has recently proposed rules that will limit the daily amount that can be transferred that way. Hu Xiaoxian in Shanghai explains. The rules will set caps on payments processed by third-party payment companies, with a daily limit of 5,000 yuan per customer per day and 200,000 yuan per year. That applies to payments made without identity authentication, which means virtually all payments made on mobile phones. According to research company Mintel, that could affect 96 percent of Chinese online shoppers who have used mobile payments in the past. Still, many users appear unconcerned. I'm not likely to spend as much as several thousand yuan a day or more than 10,000 a month, so this won't have much impact on me. I'm a university student, so it won't have much impact on me. I normally buy some daily items, food, and play some online games. But the food is only about 100 yuan and closing maybe two or 300 yuan. The caps will not affect payments made directly from users' bank accounts, even though those accounts may be linked to the third-party platforms. Internet finance consultancy Intang Group says online payments have become an 8 trillion yuan market, almost 13 percent of China's entire GDP. This has raised regulators' concerns about possible money laundering. Many people suspect that the rules aim to curb the online payment sector, which is not quite true. The main purpose is to promote healthy development of Internet finance industry based on system stability and fund security concerns. The booming Internet finance sector, including P2P lending, has expanded the business of online payment companies. Diversified businesses and products have attracted and pulled a large amount of money. If that money is misused, it could endanger the entire financial system. Zhang says the proposed rules also indicate regulators' desire to educate users about the potential risks of using online payment services. The regulators are at pains to make sure people understand the difference between small online payments and larger traditional banking transactions. Some users are already showing caution over online payments. I trust banks more with larger payments. I don't put too much money in Alipay because of this uncertainty. I just use the money in Alipay for meals or online payments. Both Alipay and Tenpay declined to comment on the new regulations. Matthew Crabb at Mintel says consumer education is not only something for regulators, but it's also important for the online payment companies themselves. Uh, companies need to educate consumers about how their technology works, how uh, the financial transactions work, how their uh, safety uh, precautions work. But also the, the companies themselves need to learn from the consumers what it is they want, what they find convenient or inconvenient about these payment systems. And, uh, and so it's a two-way process, really. China has nearly 300 online payment companies, though Alipay and Tenpay occupy almost 70 percent of the market. All are expected to feel the impact of the new regulations, on which public comment closes August 28th. Hu Xiaoten, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.